and it, it's something because um, you made a point that is so important honoring veterans and most of the time when you see veterans you see military most of the time they're showing the men and they have started showing more women and showing some of the domestic things they have to deal with when they come home etc but for most cases it's not so anytime any veteran comes or a military is around, I always believe in just that honor so, so I always say just you know say thank you for your service mm -hmm. whether it's a relative or a friend or somebody you don't know you know they were they're in the military they were in the military just thank them then you never know how much good you could do. That day they might be feeling down at that moment. That little something that somebody recognized, because God say maybe, I wasn't in the war, I was in the service, so I'm not a veteran. Hello, you still a veteran? Yes. You gave that oath, that's a bet. that's a that's a more, that's a stronger oath than I do for getting married. Because you know that there's a possibility it could it, really it, cause it, you to lose your life. Right, 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 right. So it, yeah. it, it does make a difference. So I thank you, I thank you, I wasn't there. But I thank you so much for what you did to honor those women. And I know mm -hmm. Rosella did it justice for, yeah, she for, did. You know, she did. For, for her presentation. So, I'm, I, like I said, I'm honored, you know. Mm -hmm. And this is an honor. And I'm looking forward to like, starting these focus groups. And we can we can get together and kind of carve out how some of the result-oriented things, outcomes you want to see uh, come out there. And I'll show you some of the outcomes there so we can merge them. And, and just, like, see, she has so much... If you just see her office, Rosemary office is just awesome. The words like believe and dream and imagine. And that's what we're doing. We're imagining and we're going to make these dreams turn into reality. We're helping to infuse them and, and giving people something to dream about again or at least the atmosphere in which to start to think about dreaming again. Mm -hmm. Cause nobody gives them what those dreams right. do. They? And see, that's why I want them to come here. Yeah. Because number one, you know, I have a medical background myself, and you know, I, I, I know used that. to be a, I used to be a, a chemist my first life, and then wow. I, you know, but I was born a I was born an artist, but then you know, when you grow up and your mom say get a job, get something you can get a job, so you get a hospital stuff. But I really want them to be able to come down here and share all of the Michigan Avenue stuff and then, you know, in this office and us to come together and not be like in a hospital setting. Yeah. I don't want them I don't want them to be thinking about, you know, them being sick or and, you know, them having some depressions. I want them to come I want them to step out of that. Yeah. And so and go into the realm of really being able to see how great they really are. Yeah. That was then and this is now. Yeah. So now what the reason why I wanted you to come down here so you can see what I was doing and see how we can sort of bridge all that together and, and show and show these women. And I think that's gonna happen. Yeah. And it's gonna be glorious. And yes. Okay, in our next segment I wanna to talk to you about your experience as being a soldier and how you ended up in this chair if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. Just say, you know, ask you.